Good evening. Welcome to The Next Word. I'm your host, Chris Warnke, and tonight we have a very special guest. We have the new president of Sister Cities International, Roger Mark D'Souza, who just came on board in January of this year to talk about plans for the new Sister Cities International, its expansion, and what Dwight Eisenhower, our president, decided over 63 years ago when he had the vision to create this wonderful organization that really connects people to people worldwide in over 145 countries. So, Roger Mark. Thank you, We Chris. have great it's, plans for you. Oh, very good. It's wonderful to be here. Thank, Thank you, you for having me. Oh, my God. You're, I mean, Sister Cities has an incredible brand. It, it really does. Yeah. And I think this is one of the things that most surprised me. I don't think I fully realized when I accepted this position how well known it, it is. I oh. have been amazed at the people who have been touched by or who have touched mm -hmm. sister cities. When I walk in my neighborhood and I walk my dog in the morning, I have neighbors shouting out to me, sister cities forever, we love you. Oh, right. <laughs> what a great organization. Well, really? Wonderful. I have discovered colleagues who have met their spouses through Sister Cities. I have friends. Mm -hmm. I have a friend who I've worked with for many years who just told me that she did a Sister City tour with her sister to tour in really? France, really? and she wow. was the only French-speaking person on the delegation. Oh, I love so it. a That's sister great. cities tour with her sister to tour in France. That's a great, and uh, it, it, it really is amazing. It is a wonderful organization. But, and you know, Eisenhower, and I, I give him, President Eisenhower, you know, um, I, I give him so much credit because he, he really yes. understood the people-to-people -people connection. And, and I think this is, this is amazing to it, have it, had that foresight at really, that moment right. in time. It really did come at a critical time in the post-war post period right, right, where right. we really focused on connecting people and moving to people beyond politics. Right, right, right. And I think this is really important. The key. It, is, it is key. And and what is amazing is that as you say about 62 years afterwards that value of engaging right. person to person right. at an individual right. Right. level carries even more currency right. today. Right. Right. I keep hearing when I meet with my counterparts overseas that Yep. You're not quite what I expected. I, you don't fully correspond to my image yep. or my preconception mm -hmm. of an American. And now wow. I feel I can engage. That's wonderful, yes. You have helped me to better understand what the United States is about. Mm -hmm. And I want to engage. I want to know more. And this really is the basis of these kinds of relationships. It's mutual understanding. And respect. And respect. Right, right. And cooperation. And fun. And fun. We have a good time. Yeah, we have a good time. So and, that's wonderful. And the partnerships that come. Yes. There's so many partnerships that come it is, out it. Of it really is amazing. It's, it's, a, it's business. It's trade. It can be education. It's cultural. It's... Sports. Oh, it's sports. It's, right. Sports is a big there, There's so many areas. One of the areas that I think is, is really interesting is the areas around disaster mitigation, the environment resilience. Yes. yes. Um, I'm just so pleased that okay. the State Department will soon be recognizing one of our partners from Iowa, Council Bluffs, yes. who yes. have oh, engaged right. yes. in a partnership with Iraq whereby they're working with young people who are technologically advanced and working on heating systems, particularly among Iraqis who oh, are really? displaced. Oh, wow. So what this a, is a... innovative. It's meeting a displaced population. Right. It's engaging young people and it's increasing understanding. So from council births to, to, to um, really underserved populations overseas, making the connection on a person-to-person -person individual level, and to be recognized right. by the State by Department. The State wow. Department. This is really individual citizen right. sidewalk work. diplomacy at its 
best. Yes. And it's bringing the entrepreneurial spirit. It's, this is fascinating, actually. So the event is on January 29th to the correct. State Department. Yeah. And they're recognizing a number of institutions? Have, uh, well, we are the award winner. So award they're, winner. It's, they're wow. the primary right, award fun. given for citizen diplomacy by the State Department. That's fabulous. Oh, that's going to be wonderful. It is amazing. It's amazing. And I love the idea of the entrepreneurial, when you think about yes. it. Yes. These are young people? Yes. That connected to? Exactly. Their counterparts yes. in Iraq? Yes. And, and we are seeing this um, in a variety of spheres, too. We have also received support through an initiative called the Stevens Initiative mm -hmm. that's working with blind and deaf mm -hmm. and disabled young people in the Palestinian territories. Oh, how wonderful. And it's, it's wow. with our partners in Florida really? and in Iowa, in Gainesville, Florida, and Muscatine, Iowa, Muscatine, who, right. uh, who are then working on developing a sign language dictionary mm -hmm. they're doing virtual exchanges and they're finding ways to connect middle school and high school students so that they learn how they can support each other oh, that's fabulous it's amazing. that's amazing and it's probably done with not that much you don't need that many resources in no. terms of financial no support or I mean I mean really if you do you? I mean, no, you, those you kinds need, of programs? You need, you need some, some in, innovation. I mean, you, need, you need some innovation. Right, you obviously. need power thinking. Right. I think what is most exciting about it is that there is a real opportunity to make a difference in somebody's life right now. Right. And what, what I particularly like about our approach at Sister Cities mm -hmm. is that it really leads to sustainability. Right. We're not right. moving in and implementing a program and then moving out. These relationships Are exist long -term, yeah, right. over time. They're long term. Absolutely. They're sustainable. So if we go in and we create a sign language dictionary, that dictionary then has already audience that will use that dictionary over time. And this really is the beauty of the sister city magic. Oh, yeah. It really is the sustained long-term relationships mm -hmm. that are based on trust that enable us to make a real difference. Absolutely. So going back to this, so in um, the, the blind... Um, mm -hmm. the, program with the Palestinian and the deaf mm -hmm. yeah, it's fabulous it is how did that all I mean how did this was it, this it, through our a board member was no this it was through the communities they were established relationships they reached out there was they, a need there was a need right, right. Um, and I think for us as Americans, what's important about it is that it's a two-way exchange. Right. We are able to learn from them also. Right. And I think this really gets to the core of who we are as right. Americans. As Americans right. We want to serve, we want to engage others, and we want to think about how that provides some benefits right. Uh, right. for us. Right. No, it's wonderful. I mean, and look at look at the example of, of 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 the Chinese, the premier of China, when he came what, twenty years ago yes. to, was it Muskie? No, yeah. was it Muskie or uh, Iowa? Think, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. And he established a relationship at that time. Mm -hmm. He was not premier, right? But he established a relationship, a yes. sister city, yeah. with his hometown, mm -hmm. and it's thriving today. Right. And when he came back two years yeah. ago. He actually went back yes. to Iowa. Yes. So he understood the importance. Yes. Of and what is, that meant, and to yes. take the time to go back. Yeah. And to meet again, and to see yeah. how it's grown and how mm -hmm. it's expanded. Yeah. And it's really remarkable. It, when you it, think of a premier really of China. Is. Yes. Yeah. No, no, it's, and it's it, it it and these relationships really happen at a formative stage of many yes, people's yes. lives, yes. and they they grow in to a sister city relationship and they then grow up right. with sister right. cities and that personal then comes 
becomes professional. So it starts with a youth exchange or, or sports. Right. And then people begin to say, but there are economic op opportunities right. here. There are spin-off opportunities for trade, for investment, for entrepreneurship, oh, yeah. for technology exchange, for health exchanges. Right. Um, I was just learning of a program that's providing dental services and underserviced areas. It, it really does make a difference. Oh, absolutely. And you come from an environment where you were director of environmental initiatives for the Woodrow Wilson Center yes. before you joined Sister Cities. Yes. And of course we do. Sister Cities does have an environmental exactly. platform and yes. hopefully it'll have even a greater one with right. you at the, um, at the lead. Um, I know you have big plans, but it crosses every level it, of our it, society. It does. Really. Um, and this is what I like about Sister yeah. Cities and what we're doing and where we hope to grow. We, the, the organization and the partnerships benefit from a volunteer right. leadership. Right. Right. So we have more than 2,000 partnerships right. and we have more than 500 members. And I keep talking to these members mm. and I am blown away. They are amazing, they are impressive, they are they committed, are committed absolutely. and they are innovative. Right. And we, I was recently looking at a survey at some of our volunteer membership and what they do. Some of our volunteers have been volunteering for, for more years, than, right? For more than 20 years. No, I know. It's years. remarkable. I mean, I look at the Fort Worth Sister yes. Cities, um, which has, has yes. just thrived. Yes. And it's it's amazing what what has been done through the leadership exactly. of, you know, Mike Hyatt and, you know, and, and Mary Ferguson. Mary Ferguson. And others. And, oh, my God. I yes. mean, Mary Ferguson's done Yeah, Mays is wonderful. Yes, yes. And I was just talking to one of our volunteers in Fort Worth today, right. and he was telling me that he learned about Sister Cities through an exchange program. Mm -hmm. Um, and then he subsequently went to Japan, uh, which wow. were the sister city that was uh, twinned with right. Fort Worth, and he stayed there for several years. And then he went on wow. to Mexico. And then he wow. served on the board of sister cities as our young uh, professionals. So right. we have a category on the right. board right. for which young professionals for the mid 20s to early 30s. And this is amazing because our membership consists of individuals who not only provide long, long service, but we have new and upcoming professionals, and I love it. Yeah. They Which are is wonderful. so well, and dynamic. They, well, they have, you know, they're just out there in the yes. technology. Yes, yes. <laughs> For some of us that are not. Exactly. <laughs> as, but, as but proficient the, in the technology, but, yeah, but they're just. Technology. There's so many new, there are so many new platforms that new can platforms. be used. Which make, make the, even the connections even more important. And, Energy yes, and yes, energy. ideas yes, and yes, innovation yes, and keeping us current and relevant. But but it's amazing to me that when I talk with these right. young professionals, they see the value in these sustained relationships of trust. Right. One of them said to me Rog, recently, he said, you know, Roger Mark, what Sister Cities does cannot be delivered to your front door. Right. These senses, this sense of trust and engagement only comes through engaging on an individual level. Right. This right. is really important. And you can never replace that. You cannot. You can never replace that. You cannot. It, yeah. so, it no. is how we nurture and engage leadership. Right. 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 And, and demonstrate the core of what right. it is to be an American right. and to be engaged right. internationally. You know, uh, so on that note, we're going to take a short break, very positive <laughs> note, and we'll be right back. Great. And we'll continue to talk about your plans. And I know you have great plans for Sister Cities. So, yeah. Look forward to it. Yep. You're watching The Next Word, Channel 16. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back. To get on track at aceyourretirement.org. Welcome back. You're watching The Next Word. I'm your host, Chris Warnke. And tonight, we're having a conversation with the new president of Sister Cities International, Roger Mark D'Souza. Roger Mark, it's so good to have you. And you've only been on the job, what, 
two and a half weeks. Two and a half weeks, weeks. weeks, yes. But you've already made, I can tell you've already made amazing strides. And you Thank have you. incredible plans for the for the organization, yes. which has been around for 62 years. Right. Through the great vision of President Dwight Eisenhower. Wonderful, Who knew yes. the importance of citizen diplomacy. Mm -hmm. So this is something that we have to continue, and I know you're going to be taking Sister Seas to yes. a whole new level, but a little bit about you. I mean, mm -hmm. you've had great training. Mm -hmm. You are, your family originally from? I'm originally from Trinidad, Trinidad and Tobago. And I love the accent. In the I Caribbean. Love yes. You love yes. that Caribbean lift? I love it. I love the lift. I love the lift. So distinguished it has. Enough. Thank you. Um, so you, and then you came here. Yes, um, I lived in France, I taught French, I taught English oh. in France, uh -huh. and then I came to the United States um, for my second graduate degree and stayed on. And actually, when I came to the United States, I started in Lynchburg, Virginia, oh, wow. where I taught really? at high school. I taught oh, Spanish ah, at high it. school, and it, it was really wonderful for me. Lynchburg mm -hmm. is a fairly mm -hmm. small town, town not very big, but people... So, Roger, Martin, you started in Lynchburg, Virginia. Yes, I was teaching Spanish at a high school and middle school in Lynchburg, Virginia, and it was a wonderful start. Uh, my wife and I got married there. She's French, and it it really was amazing because there was such a, a warm welcome and receptivity and curiosity, um, which I saw through my students through language instruction, but also about <coughs> the world, and they wanted to learn more. Yeah. And I, I think of them when I think of Sister Cities, because these young Americans, this formative stage of their lives, in a fairly small town, but still hungry to engage internationally. So it was, really, it was really, wonderful. When you think about it, because world history is something that a lot of you know curriculums do not include. Right. So people now with everything yes. else and the internet and you yes. know, of course at that time, I mean when you came, what twenty? Yeah, a good twenty-five years ago. Twenty-five years ago, of course, yes. things have changed so right. rapidly. That's um, right. You know. And how do we keep abreast of this this pace right. of change? Right. It's so so fast. And I think this is one of the things that we will continue to focus on in Sister Cities moving ahead. Right. Um, you know, we're here in Montgomery County. Right. There are four Sister right. City partnerships in right. Montgomery County. One of them is with a, a, a city in India. And that city is known as being a smart city. So a smart really? city is a city that is connected technologically mm -hmm. and that really mm -hmm. um, takes advantage of the diversity of its population. It takes advantage of technological opportunities. They're known for being resilient cities. So there's a huge opportunity for us here in Montgomery County yeah. to learn from our partners in India and vice versa right. as we, we think about how we can deal with current challenges. So being a smart city right. and what that means for urban development, resilience, mm -hmm. um, well-being of its population, right. and economic competitiveness what? is Absolutely. going to be very important so that's so interesting as we about, try yes. to attract investors. Investors and businesses like are we talking about Amazon? <laughs> uh, just maybe. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but, but you know, when you have... Uh, but absolutely, yes. you need to have that infrastructure yes. in order to attract investors like exactly. Amazon. Exactly. You know. And, and yeah. you know that in many of the corporations yeah. that we work with, they operate internationally. They're connected yes. internationally. Yes, yes. But there are also opportunities for From their local, employers yeah. right. to engage in um, citizen engagement, diplomacy activities as part of their corporate social responsibility. Right. Absolutely. So this is the kind of opportunities that sister cities also offer right. 
yeah. corporations, that their workers, their workforce can develop a certain expertise mm -hmm. and literacy about engaging internationally that brings them reward on an individual mm -hmm. level mm -hmm. that's fun right. and where there's a bottom line contribution for the corporate entity. Oh, absolutely. So really important. It's really important. You look at Montgomery County. Mm -hmm. There are over 30,000 businesses. Yes. Many of them in the high tech, yes. biotech, yes. health. Yes. I mean, in every, you know, on every, on every sector, energy renewable. Um, so for here, and you look at your populations, whether right. it's Ethiopian American, exactly. whether it's Indian American. You know, um, yes. You mentioned four. Yes. Sister cities, but yes. those are four populations which are right. very prominent. And yeah, China, China Ethiopia, Ethiopia, India. Ethiopia. These are key, key, key geographies. Partners, key trading partners. Key trading key partners. Business partners. Business cultural, partners, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That really, really matter for us. So this focus on what it means to engage for sustainability, resilience, oh. for economic benefits. We did a study a few years ago to demonstrate the value added of uh, sister cities. And what we found was that the return on investment for a sister city collaboration goes into the millions of dollars. Oh, absolutely. So for a minimal investment in setting up an arrangement that's usually set up once a locally elected official, typically the mayor, gets on board, that we see spin-off opportunities opportunities uh, at the level for of years, schools. For years, and, yeah. Uh, yeah, for years to come, yeah. for years to come. Well, right, that's amazing. So we, you have a, an incredible chair, Tim Quigley, mm -hmm. who's on your west coast. Wonderful. And I know California has a very strong, yes. as a state, Right, San Jose. Many cities, yeah, San Jose. The Silicon Valley. Si right, pa Palo Alto. Palo I mean, Alto. It very really strong is amazing. Sister city relationships. Yes, yes. Um, and then you have your other, mm -hmm. your incoming chair, mm -hmm. who's now currently the mayor of San Antonio, Texas. Right, Ron Newenberg. So, Ron Newenberg. So you're having, um, you have very strong, you know, states. With very a lot of activity, states. you know, with, you know, uh, certainly business tentacles yes. and, and um, so the so, board and the board members like you thank yes, you, yes, you for your welcome. service and it's a wonderful um, board that I love being on but but I have just been and I think this was a little bit of a, a hidden treasure for me I hadn't fully realized how well connected energized, invigorated, and committed the board was. So to have board members, I have a young uh, professional board member who is a movie star from oh. Japan oh. who um, was in the movie The Last Samurai, starred again, uh, across from Tom really? Cruise. And Shin is He's on the board? He's on our board. And Shin is amazing. Maybe, yes. And he has so many ideas of ways that we can partner and engage with Japan around entrepreneurship, around the Olympics, around entertainment, around, around, entertainment, film, around, around film, meaningful, sustained relationships that really can make a difference. What we have found with our sister city partnerships is that we have two number one partners. They're either Japan right. or Mexico. Oh, wow. And they constantly compete, compete. Yes, they compete with each right, other. Right, so it right. really is wonderful. It's wonderful to have this <laughs> yes, competition. Yes. But it, it, it's far more than that because I know. Yeah. And everybody we t I talk to certainly, and I know you do too, whether on ambassadors, you know, or people at the State Department. I mean, the branding is so strong. Yes. Because it's been, you know, it's been sustainable. Yeah. You you, you, you go to an airport and yeah. you see signs yeah, that say indicating right. where the city, sister cities exist. Well, even in Rockville, there's a sign, mm -hmm. certainly. Yes. So it's people touching. know us very well. Yes. The name is known very well. Uh, what I would like to do is make sure that people have a sense yeah. of the depth and range of partnerships that we, we, we have. Right. So, you know, in addition 
to sports. Right. I was talking to a colleague today about food and food diplomacy. Right. Right. Um, so there are a lot of opportunities oh, about, about uh, things that we experience on a daily basis where we can connect internationally um, and, and really begin to understand and bring some of that back home. Oh, absolutely. Um, no, you, and you're going to find, as you get into your you know, position, I mean, you know, ev there's so many, so many possibilities. Yes, yeah. And with the ever-changing technology. Yes. And, and, you know, now and with the youth engagement. And, yes. And you have large populations of youth in many of these countries, whether it's Ethiopia or, mm -hmm. or Libya, let's say, or, you know, I mean, all over the world. right. I mean, the youth population is, in yeah. most of these countries, is yes. majority. It is majority. And I, so I look at the, the globe here and I yes. think, you know, we're in more than 145 countries. Yes. That is amazing. And many right. of these countries are looking at how they invest in youth right. and young they people. Have to, yeah. They have to. Absolutely. And for many of these countries, this is what they refer to as the youth bulge. Right. And they see this as what we call a demographic dividend yes. and it means that they must purposefully and deliberately invest in youth programming so that they can make a difference to the economy and to the future yeah, and, and most recently I was in Tokyo and it's a little bit of a different issue that we yeah. were looking at in Tokyo we were looking at aging and um, how can we provide for senior citizens? And I work with you most recently, yes. um, and we attended, we have a, a speaker series yes. with ambassadors. Yes, yes, And yes. we had the ambassador from Costa Rica. And we talked, that's right, he and talked he about the, spoke he called the blue, was he called the, the blue? I, was it the blue economy? I the forgot. blue economy, yes. But, but, but it was amazing. What they're doing in Costa Rica yes. with the senior population. And he was saying that Costa Rica has emerged as a model, model yes. for how you think of providing for the needs of vibrant, healthy, seniors, engaged yes. senior citizens. Right. And countries like Japan are looking to partner and understand from those examples as are That's, we yeah, that was amazing. in the United States. So you have this wonderful yep. youth dividend, but you also have people living longer. Right. Right. And cities right. give an insight into the future and what can be. So how we provide the infrastructure and to meet mm -hmm. the needs mm -hmm. of, the, of this uh, aging population is going to be an important part. Yeah, opportunity absolutely. for us. For cities and the group. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Well, if anybody wants to get engaged, they can go and to your web, of course. Right, at sistercities.org. Right. And we encourage and it. there's a um, lot of information there. Right. If anyone would like to find out how to um, find partners, we have a program called City Seeking Cities, right, right. where you can find out about right, other right. cities who would like to partner. And it really is the start of a beautiful, beautiful friendship. Right. It's wonderful. No, I can't say enough. But thank you. Thank you. We could talk for all night. We can. We can, but, <laughs> but you come back. I will. Right, I would right. love to. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. much. Yeah, that's great. You've been watching The Next Word. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great evening. Good night.